my brother, thinking he's a cyborg, creates tension in the house. I'm making something. Would you like something to no. eat? No. Okay. You have water. My mom and my brother are like constantly arguing because all he does is spend time in his room. When Orn first told me he was a cyborg, I thought he was joking. I think that something is wrong with him. I feel like Orn has a valid message, but the way he goes about it is kind of off. I think something maybe happened in college that could have triggered the reason why he believes he's a cyborg. He was always pretty quirky, but I feel like it's been taken to the extreme with the robotic stuff. He used to be fun and energetic because we would always go out to the beach, and now there's no time for that, I guess. Orrin has told me that he went to the future in 2050 and he's seen everything. Orrin said he has seen the end of the world and that technology has taken over. I usually walk away when he says stuff like that because it usually upsets me and frustrates me sometimes. I'm surprised my mom has been this patient. Why don't you get a couple of these water bottles in a bag, take them outside for the recycling? Tomorrow. Why don't you do that now? We're busy. You're not busy. If you want to save the world, you should recycle. I feel like I expected him to get a job since he went to a good college. No one has really expected him to want to become a rapper, much less a cyborg. I feel like my brother might be at his tipping point because I've never seen it get this bad. He doesn't eat, he doesn't interact with anyone anymore, and it's starting to worry me. I feel disconnected from Orin. I want to be closer like how we were before. I miss my brother Orin, and I want him back. You say you miss your brother, what do you miss? We would laugh a lot, we would um, hang out with my other sister and I just feel like it's been such a long time since I've had that and like I don't really feel cherished, mm -hmm. you know, to be, like to have a sister. He cherish his family, yeah. mm -hmm. it's like we're not important to him. Do you miss your sister? Do you miss spending time with her? We live in the same house. Mm -hmm. Now answer my question. We were all flown out to Los Angeles together. We went to the Santa Monica Pier yesterday. Mm -hmm. That can be rekindled. Mm -hmm. But that's bit, it's, that was the first time in months where we've actually spent time together. Mm -hmm. Usually Did you, you enjoy the time you spent with her? It was pleasant, yes. Do you think that your mother enables him? She is a really nice person. And so I feel like she's really patient, but I wouldn't call her an enabler because mm -hmm. I've seen her like try to kick him out. And like, I feel like it's also my responsibility that he's still not doing what he needs to do because mm -hmm. I was, you know, I made her feel like for like wanting to kick him out. So mm -hmm. I feel like we're all guilty. Like, but she tells him to get a job, but she doesn't enforce it. She pays for everything, rent, food. I mean, you, you pick up all the bills, right? Yes. You support him because you've never been close and there's been difficulties in the relationship. Yes. So you're kind of parenting out of guilt and fear. <laughs> that is true. W why were you strained in the past? I was married to his father and then that relationship ended and I remarried uh, with Samantha's dad and Oren had a very difficult time uh, with that transition. He went to live with his grandparents for a while. Mm -hmm. um, and it was difficult on me because I, I wanted him home, but he just couldn't deal with the, mm -hmm. the, you know, the new family and new husband and, and so forth. So when he said that you know, he needed to come back home to regroup and to get himself together, uh, I welcomed him with open arms. It's very reasonable. <laughs>